So, um, first of all, what do you say your highlight of your career is? Um, obviously, I love playing the World Cup. Yeah. Um, my ambition when I was younger to play in the FA Cup. Yeah. Which I scored in every round, but I only lasted 12 minutes because oh, okay. uh, I got injured. But then, yeah. obviously, the World Cup is special. But you know, when I played in Italy, when Walla Smith from Glasgow Rangers come over and says, "Oh, one thing you will come when you come to Glasgow Rangers, yeah, yeah. you will get enjoy playing football again." Oh, okay. And uh, so my time at Rangers was fantastic. Yeah. And you talk about Rangers there. What's your view on the managerial appointment? It's the same by the new manager because he worked hard to get obviously on his way up. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I think anyone is manager of Glasgow Rangers, you just got to think the fans, you know. Yeah. Uh, they're the most important things. But I think the man's a big good appointment. They need someone, you know. They need some manager there that you know he, want, he needs the place to know who to play for. And Glasgow Rangers who we play for and the fans, you know. My, my team there is incredible. You know, obviously you play for the team and the manager, but yeah. when you got that support behind you, it's, it's, it's incredible. Okay, and I'm an Aston Villa fan myself, and there's been a lot of speculation with Robin Jack Green is going to Tottenham. How do you think he'll do if he does go for it? Um, I mean, any player that goes anywhere, you know, it's like if a player wants to leave a the club, then let him go, you know, but uh, a great player. Um, you know, it's a big, great, group, uh, great move for him, yeah. but you know, it, it's like anything else. You look at Man City years ago, they were nowhere, yeah. and look at them now, fantastic. You know, and Aston Villa is a big, it's a big, it's a big yeah. team, big, big team. Aston Villa, it's yeah. a big name. And I remember playing against them years ago. I remember my manager was going to play me. He said, "I'm not scoring enough goals," and I scored a goal against Aston Villa within five minutes. So I did all right. But Aston Villa is a ma massive club. And um, you played at a very top level. Who would you say your toughest opponent has been? Um, obviously in the World Cup, uh, Sifu in midfield, he was an incredible player. Yeah. Um, but my toughest player, my best player, was Brian Robson. Oh, I okay. call him dog shit because he was everywhere. What a player. Yeah. Incredible. You know, he come back from three broken legs, um, broken collarbone, and you know, when I joined England, he said, Oh, I'm coming in and create your story, and you create, leave everything to me. I'll yeah. do all the tackling and give you the ball and play for someone like him. Um, we don't have that at the moment, you know. Yeah. You know, um, but what an unbelievable player. Who would you say your inspiration was when you When I played, the inspiration was obviously I loved watching Jan Cruyff play, so I learned that trick from him. But inspiration was just the way uh, uh, Brian Robson's determination was incredible. You know, for my position, obviously. Yeah. Well, like left wing, I'd say Chris Waddle. Uh, behind the front two would be. Obviously, Shearer. Yeah. I mean, uh, Peter Beasley and Shearer up front, obviously, with Zenga, but for my position, there's no better than Brian Robson. Yeah. That's why they would call him Captain Marvel. Unbelievable. And um, you have a lot of mixed views on Italian 90. How can you compare it to England's 2018? <coughs> 2018. I didn't watch much of it because I miss football still, even in my age, uh, really badly. But I just, I said to Shane, I said, then you know, still against Croatia. Yeah. Because um, the midfielder, what's his name? John Rift? No, what's his name? No, of, of, for, for Croatia. Oh, uh, Modric. Yeah, yeah Modric. incredible player. He's yeah. intelligent. He's three, he's three seconds ahead, you know. And he would be the man. I thought whoever would do well in midfield would win that game. And obviously, yeah. you know, you got to play in the tournament as well, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That's where young. Um, when I played the World Cup in 1990, yeah. the atmosphere before it was incredible. I'd run flags on the streets yeah. and then in the car, but no, didn't seem anything like that this year, yeah. you know. I think it was because obviously the first three games England knew they were going to qualify. It was what was going to happen after that. And we yeah. seen what happened after that, you know. Um, but you know, credit to them got the semi final. Yeah. Um, you know, but the, these players can only get better. They're only young, you know. But I was there when I was 23. And I was one of the best players in the world. So it's up to them, you know. The, the um, we've got to forget about it now. We now concentrate on Euro the next Euro European champion yeah, yeah. Championship. And then the World Cup after that. But we keep saying the problem, the problem we have, yeah. every time we go into it, we keep thinking we, we should win it. And it's not the case. You know, we only won it once in 1966. And finally, how do you think you would get on in today's England starting 11? It me. Yeah. I'm blame blindfolded. <laughs> I play for them blindfolded. Yeah, but he does. You yeah. know, I would like to play with the players just to show them what it's like. You know, the, what it's like to play for England. Yeah. And the, I don't think the passion there to play for the country at the moment is not there. You know, and I think it's, I think a lot of it's got to do with the wages that are on. You know, and uh, sometimes it hurts me to see 
obviously I flew over to Russia to watch the semi final and I yeah, left yeah. at half time. Oh, okay. I couldn't watch it anymore yeah. because I remember when I played there. So I got a bit emotional, so I left and just went back to the hotel. You talked about then about the salary and the things are on. Do you think that does have an impact on? Yeah, it must football? definitely must have. You know, you look at when I drove, I drove one car. I don't have eight cars. What do I want eight cars for? You only drive one. You know. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I, I think you know. Good credit to them. Whoever's on one million a week, good luck yeah. to them. You know. What the business is, you've got to realise who you play for. Yeah. I played for the fans. Because mm. it was the fans that paid for my way. Okay, well, thank you, Simon. Yeah, thank you, mate. Thank it's you. Been... If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another? Click here to watch them in full. Also, subscribe if you're new so you can follow my journey to the media world.